Hey guys, I'm back with my trade video. So, all these things are going to be for sale or trade. Um, I prefer to do trades. However, if you want to make me an, an offer, feel free to do so. I don't have PayPal, so I do not take PayPal. I would recommend um, sending a check or a money order. That way, you know, in case um, it gets lost in the mail, you can easily cancel those and um, nobody loses anything. But uh, no PayPal, only checks or money orders or even trades. You know, I, I like Nintendo, Super Nintendo are my favorites. Uh, Genesis and 64 are okay, but I'm open to whatever. So, without further ado, what you have here is a Nintendo Power Pad. It's in pretty good condition, as you can see. And obviously it's going to take a uh, big uh, packaging to get that out, but that's always fun to have to be part of your collection, so that's up for trade. It's pretty good shape. Next up, I got a couple of handheld Tiger games. I have a Electronic Baseball by Tiger. It's got um, you know a few blemishes here and there. Sorry for the lighting. But um, and it's overall good shape, and it, you know, it does need batteries. But these were always fun back in the day, so um, yeah, but I already got one of these, so I'm trying to trade this if anybody's interested. Yeah, it could easily be wiped away some of the smudges. And the spirit of that, I have another football. I have another football. <laughs> I have uh, another Tiger game, Electronic Football. It's got to be cleaned off a little bit. It's not that, well, it's a little slightly worn, but it does work. It needs new batteries, as you can see. So, another Tiger game, up for trade. If anybody collects these, I'm sure a lot of you do. Alright, let's see. Next up, I have Super Mario Bros. 3 in box. The box is, I would say, it's between. it's probably in fair condition. I'm not going to say it's in good condition. It depends on, you know, what people think. It's in fair condition, but it is intact. You can see it's got a little, I think it's water damage there. A lot of these are still going to be... Uh, games that I had, a little more water damage there, as you can see by the lighting. A lot of these are games that I've had in my last video a couple of months ago. Um, and it does come with the manual and the game. So it's pretty complete, I would say. Maybe just missing a styrofoam, I think, but not that big a deal. Next up, another complete game. I have um, Golf. This one's in a little better shape. And it's a black box game, which is always fun to have. Okay, and this one is... I believe it's got the... Um, let me see. Here's the game right here. It's not a five-screw game. But let's see. Okay. Yeah, the manual... It does have the manual. It's just right there. I don't know if you guys could see it. It's right there. It's hard to do this with one hand, guys. So uh, the manual is right there. So, yeah. That is another game that will be up for trade. Golf. Black box game. Alright. Um, I have here, what else? For the PlayStation 1, I got Final Fantasy 9. Pretty awesome. Okay. So it does have all four discs, as you can see here. It does have a little bit of a light scratches but they do work I can guarantee you that there's disc one here's disc two yeah kind of a similar thing right here all right let me turn this back away. disc three right there it's the manual all right, it's right there and disc four Alright, this there it is, so it does work off where discs work, so yeah, Final Fantasy, you know, nine so for trade as well. Let's see what else. Uh, for the PlayStation 2, I have Mortal Kombat Deception. And it is complete, I believe. And it's in good condition too as well. Well, you know what, it's got a few light scratches, but it does work. I take that back. Okay, next up, another PS2 game, Greatest Hits, God of War. Alrighty. This one is complete. 
And this one, I'm not sure about the condition. It should be okay, if not good. Well, see, it's got a few light scratches, but again, these are games that I've played, and they do work. So, that is God of War for PS2 Greatest Hits. Next up, I have um, a CDI game. I'm never going to get one, so it's up for trade. It is Tetris. There it is. And this one, this has the out that, that's the outer sleeve right there. This is the actual game inside. It's got playing Tetris, the manual, I assume. Welcome to the world of CDI. Uh, Alright. This one's in better shape, a lot better shape. It's got a few thumb prints and a couple of very mild scratches. So anybody that's got a CDI, wants Tetris, and is interested, let me know. Put that up there. Um, anybody got a Neo Geo? Um, I got for trade um, these little, um, I guess they're cards. Let me just take that, take that out for you guys. Neo Geo memory card. Okay, so these are up for trade as well, and I got three of them. That's one right there. Here's two. That's got a bigger case, and three. It's all the same thing, you know. Just I got these as part of a lot in a trade, and I don't have a Neo Geo, and I probably never will. So, anybody needs memory cards? Let me know. Also, sticking on the Neo Geo for a little bit. This is for the uh, Neo Geo Pocket. I have a game called. Fatal Fury, get that zoom in there. Again, I don't have a Neo Geo or I don't got a pocket, but I got the game Fatal Fury came in as part of that lot, and this will be up for trade as well. Let's go to another PS1 game, Ten Pin Alley Bowling. Those games are usually pretty fun. It's got the manual and. It's got a few scratches, but again, it does work. I have played these games before, so that's up for trade. Put that there. I got a copy of Sonic Adventure. Missing the uh, manual. Got it from Goodwill, as you can see. But the disc is in... Some, got some scratches, but again, I played these before, and they do work, so... If nobody's got a problem with condition of the, of the discs and or has no problem with servicing them, you know, it shouldn't be a big deal. Now let's go on to the last few games. I have a loose card of Sonic the Hedgehog, not for resale. Just card only, as you can see. And all these stickers I will be taking off and I'll clean any, any I'll clean off any marker that any games have on them. I have a Nintendo 64 game. I have Perfect Dark, card only. You can see, like I said, I will clean some of these um, marker and blemishes off. Got a copy for Nintendo of Super Mario Bros. 2, the famous Doki Doki Panic game. It's in pretty good shape. And next up, I have uh, some loose SNES cards. I have Mortal Kombat 2. Alright. I have... Star Fox portrayed. Pretty decent, actually pretty good shape actually. It's not too bad. Stickers, like I said, I'll take them off. Last game I got as part of this lot. Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest. Just like a little slight fading on the label as you can see there, but the game does work. And it's an overall not bad condition. Okay, so that's, that's what I have up for trade. I also, um, I got a bunch of uh, Game Boy Color. And a Game Boy Advance uh, cases upstairs that I couldn't bring down. But keep that in mind that I got cases for Game Boy Advance and, ga and Game Boy Color that I have for trade. I have many of those. <laughs> so again, this is what I have for trade. And uh, I'm looking for pretty much anything, I guess. But I'm really into NES and SNES. And uh, again, if you want to make uh, offers, I don't take PayPal. I will take like, I'll take money orders or checks, you know, to be safe. I would not throw in concealed cash, but uh, yeah, this is pretty much all I have for trade. So if anybody's interested, hit me up. Please like the video, um, thumbs up it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. If I don't see you guys, have a Happy New Year. Take care, keep it retro, and I will talk to you guys next time.